for this practical based on steganography we are using a tool called as S tools uh, S tool allows me to hide textual based content inside of an image or inside of a audio file when I start and I open S tool this is the interface which it shows me over there where is action will show me the progress or of some specific action for example right now I want to hide a bunch of text inside of an image if you see over here I have some sample images opened up this sample image for example right now if I want to work on this let's say if inside of the sunset file I want to hide textual content inside of it I need to drag and drop this sunset image onto my S tools but if you go to see S tools is now showing me an error it is saying that the file which was dropped is an unknown type it is asking me to open a picture which is either a GIF or a BMP file or a sound based WAV file so S tools only works with GIF files or BMP type of images as input image files or WAV files as input sound files so I have a file called zebra which I will drag and drop on top of this okay let's say I'm creating a text file right now and I'm giving it a name as text data and I'm giving it my name I'm saving it now for me to hide this textual data inside this image it is only a matter of me selecting this file and dragging and dropping onto the image file the moment I leave the mouse it tells me the size of the textual data it is saying the textual data is having a size of 88 bytes it will ask me for a passphrase let's say I am giving it as root 1 2 3 4 root 1 2 3 4 I can select between four types of encryption for example I am selecting now triple DS the moment I click on OK, it will generate an image file that is having my textual data hidden inside of it. If I want to save this file, I need to right click on the file, select save or save as. And when you are saving the file, you need to give the extension of the file which was given as input. This was a file that was a BMP type of file. So I'll give this an extension of .bmp. Let's, see. Let's say I'm closing all of this right now. I have now my hidden file, which is this zebra file. If I open my zebra file as well, you can see it's almost same to same. Now if I want to extract the hidden data in this image file, I need to drag and drop this file again onto S tools. The moment I leave the mouse, the image gets displayed over here. And now for me to extract the data, I need to reveal the data. To reveal the data, I only need to right click on the image and select the option of reveal. If I go into properties, property will tell me the properties about the file. To reveal it, I will say right click and select reveal. Uh, I need to enter the passphrase. When I'm doing, when I'm trying to extract data, the system will not detect the encryption algorithm which was there in the file. If you have if you have hidden the text inside of the file, you need to be well aware about the password and the encryption algorithm which was used. I had used an encryption algorithm triple DS and a password of root one two three four. root one two three four one two three four. Okay. If you see the action is performing over and now it tell me that the, what is the reveal file. It is containing a file that is called a text data dot text which is having a size of 14. If I right click and view the, I can view the property that it is uh, having a size of 14 and a compressor 22. Now I need to just right click on this and select the save as option. I will save this as a thing called extracted and give it an extension of txt. Now if I go right now and click on the extracted file, this extracted file will now contain the same content of which was present inside of the original text data file.
and this is how you do the S tools practicals.